hey there how's it going welcome to loop learnings and this is video number four if i'm not mistaken and uh, in this video we are going to focus on creating the relationships for the database tables that we have created for um, payroll management system so if you are new to my channel welcome to loop learnings and if you are returning back welcome back to the loop learnings make sure that you hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and uh, hit the bell icon as well so you get notification whenever i upload any video right so what i'm going to do in this video as i said we are going to create relationship and why do we need to do that well simply it's a relational database that's the reason you create relationships now why do we need to do why do we need to create a relational database well in summary um, we want to create a unique data every single time so for example if you created a customer that information can be utilized many times hundred thousands of times for the same customer you can create thousand repair orders or for the same employee you can create thousand transactions for the payroll and this is what i'm going to demonstrate and how do you create the relationships uh, in microsoft access all right so let's go so to create a relationship in microsoft access we'll go to the in the ribbon we'll go to the database tools and i'll click on the relationships tab we get a canvas with the tables appeared on the right side now depending on the version of microsoft access whatever you're using if you're using the latest version then you will see the tables like this if you are using the older version you might not see the tables right away so for that you right click here and then click on show table and you get the tables now based on the tables that we have created most of the and not most or actually almost all the tables are linked to one thing and that is employee when it comes to payroll management of course the employees um, uh, data it, it, everything is linked to the employee so first of all we get the employee profile table okay so I simply double click on that and we get the table employee profile I'll expand a little bit to see for the detail here now what else do we need well first of all let's link this table to the respective table such as location id and location id resides in locations table by name we can understand so i search for locations table and i double click on it in order to bring that table into the canvas all right now location id and location id we have to create a link in the tables now just before uh, i create a relationship location id in locations table is considered a primary key location id in any other table is considered a foreign key so whenever you're going to link two tables you have to have primary id and secondary id and the other condition is that the data type should be same so if location type if if location id in location has a data type number therefore the employee profile table the secondary key location type location id must have data type numbers as well so let's go ahead and create a relationship to do that i simply select the location id field i click and drag and drop okay and you can see here there is a pop-up appear that's added relationship pop-up and in it you can see that which two tables you are linking and what two fields are being linked the other two things you should do is first check the enforce definition integrity and second is cascade update related fields now what does that mean enforce referential integrity mean that you cannot 
give a fake information to the tables now you have to have that information created in the database and then only you can do the transaction for that information uh, you can see relationship type is man one to many so there are three different types of relationships one to many one to one many to many depending on the database you have you will create a different type of relationship but in this video you'll see that all of the relationships you will create are one to many so I simply click on create now since I have explained already I will move on and I will speed up a little bit next we'll get the department table because we have to link the department ID so here's the department table I'll decrease the size a little bit so department ID goes department ID double click okay next we have role so we have roles table here we go so I bring it here role it goes to role ID then next we have grade ID that resides in grading table where is grading here we go grading structure okay grade ID is linked to the grade ID all right next what do we have oh yeah I think these for the employee profile for these tables are connected now some work need to be done here for example the department table has location ID foreign key so we we'll link that location ID to the location ID is residing in the locations table that is done then we have cost center okay then uh, what next we have is basically the department ID is has to be linked with the departments table so we grab that and we drop in there next what do we have in here grading structure nothing okay all right so these are the um, tables that needs to be connected for, for these four or five tables now let's move on one by one and let's connect each table with the employee profile table and then there is by the way fiscal year fiscal month also you will see that so first let's get the bonus table here okay i will arrange it nicely and you can see what do we need to link first of all employee id is getting linked with the employees profile table then we have fiscal year fiscal month here we go fiscal month and we have fiscal year okay now these two needs to be linked so fiscal year is linked with fiscal year table then we have fiscal month is linked with fiscal month table so I that is done now let's move on to claims table now what do we have in claims table first of all employee ID all right then we have fiscal year okay are you getting it uh, hopefully you are getting it and fiscal month all right next we have composition change and first of all employee id that's the table we want to link what else do we have nothing here compensation here also we have employee id to be linked all right departments is already there so I don't need to fetch it employee profile is already there flow table flow table do you know what is the purpose of flow table 
I hope that you remember I've demonstrated in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that, go ahead and do it because it's very, very important. Fiscal month, that is also linked. All right. Then we have incentive table, we'll grab that. So employee ID. These two are linked. Fiscal year is linked and then fiscal month is linked then we will get leave entry and in leave entry we get the employee profile in employee id and what else we have well good old fiscal year and fiscal month all right you getting it I hope that you are. The locations is already there. Medical table, let's get that. Now let's connect medical tables employee ID to the employee ID. Fiscal year gets connected to the fiscal year and fiscal month gets connected to the fiscal month. Simple as that. Payable table, let's get payable table and employee id get employee id fiscal year gets connected to the fiscal year okay and then we have fiscal month that gets connected to fiscal month right payment info what do we have employee id of course that will be linked to the employee id that is it how about payroll so payroll gets connected to fiscal year all right and payroll gets connected to fiscal month of course and then we have payroll lines in payroll lines we have payroll id that gets connected the payroll id in the payroll table and then we have employee id that gets connected to employee table all right great awesome is that receivables i'll get the receivables and of course the employee id gets connected to employee table and fiscal year gets connected to fiscal year table okay and fiscal month gets connected to fiscal month table and this is how you create relationship in microsoft access um, I hope uh, that you have learned something in this video. Now we are done with the backend of the payroll management system. Almost done. There might be changes in the table structure, etc. That we will look at if it happens to have uh, uh, some changes. But other than that, for now, we are done with the database uh, aspect of the application from next video we will start the user interface anyway i hope that you have learned something and uh, if you have you even if you have not please do let me know in the comments below if you like whatever you've seen smash the like button hit the subscribe button and bell icon as well so you get notification whenever i upload a new video anyway thanks a lot for supporting and watching i will see you in the next one